Hello everyone, welcome back to Shabbos Online Tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to find the mean and the variance of Bernoulli distribution. And in Bernoulli distribution, x is distributed Bernoulli, then into parameter p. And the function, which is probability of x given x, probability of x is equal to x, is the same as what p to power x, q raised to the power of 1 minus x, as x is raised from what? 0, 1, then up to n. So this is the function of Bernoulli, p to power x, q raised to the power of 1 minus x. And we're asked to find the mean and the variance of this distribution function. At first, recall that sum of probability is equal to 1. Then we say that sum of probability of x is equal to x is the same as 1. So before we find the mean and the variance, we're going to show that the sum of this probability given function is the same as 1. I remember x is raised from 0, 1, then up to n. Then we will find the sum of as x is raised from 0 to 1 of the function, which is probability of x is equal to x, which is the same as what? p to power x q raised to the power of 1 minus x. So to find the summation, anywhere we see x, we are going to replace 0, then plus Anywhere we see x, we replace 1. That is at x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 2. So the function is given as what? p to power x. In place of x, we replace 0. Then q raised to the power of 1 minus, also we replace 0. Then plus at x is equal to 1, is p to the power of 1. Then q raised to the power of what? 1 minus 1. And then p raised to the power of 0. Any number raised to the power of 0 is the same as 1. Then q raised to the power of 1 minus 0. 1 minus 0 is the same as 1. So the whole of this is going to remain only q. Then plus p to power 1 is p. Then q raised to the power of 1 minus 1 is 0. Then q to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Then 1 multiplied by p is the same as p. And recall, <coughs> recall that q, which is the probability of failure, is the same as 1 minus probability of success. So q is the same as what? 1 minus p. Now, we in place of p, we are going to replace 1 minus p. So this is going to be what? 1 minus p plus p. So in place of q here, we replace 1 minus p. So that this p, negative p and positive p is going to cancel. So we are left with what? 1. So therefore, summation of p to power x and q raised to the power of 1 minus x is the same as 1. We have shown that the sum of the probability is equal to 1. Now, the next thing we are going to look at what is the mean. The mean. I recall that mean is the same as what expected value of x, which is equal to what summation of x, then probability of x is equal to x. So how do we do this? We know that probability of x is equal to x Bernoulli is given as what? p to power x, q raised to the power of 1 minus x. Then <clears throat> we're going to substitute to this. We're going to have what summation of x. Then probability of x given x is p to the power of x, then q raised to the power of 1 minus x. I remember x is raised from 0 to 1. Replace 0, then plus anywhere we see x, we substitute 1. So x is here. It's going to be what? 0 then p raised to the power of 0 in place of x, then q raised to the power of 1 minus 0. Plus, at x is equal to 1, is p, sorry, x, which is 1, then p raised to the power of 1, q raised to the power of 1 minus 1. So what we just did, we replace at x is equal to 0, then plus at x is equal to 1. So let's simplify this. 0, any number multiplied by 0 is the same as 0. Therefore, since this 0 is multiplied, the whole of this, so everything here is going to be 0. Then plus 1 raised to the, one multiplied by p to the power of 1 is the same as p. Then the whole of this is p. Then q raised to the power of 0, which is 1 minus 1 is 0, is the same as 1. Then 1 multiplied by p is the same as p. So therefore, the expected value of x, which is the same as mean, is equal to 0 plus p, which is the same as p. So the mean of Bernoulli is p. Now let's look for the variance. You know, the variance of Bernoulli, which is variance of x as x is distributed Bernoulli into parameter b, p is equal to what? Expected value of x squared 
minus expected value of x all squared. You know, we have already get our expected value of x, which is mean. So we are going to square this answer. So what we are looking for now is what expected value of what x squared. So what expected value of x squared, which is the same as what summation of x squared multiplied by what probability of x is equal to x. I remember probability of x is equal to x binary is the same as p to power x q raised to power of 1 minus x. So this is going to be what equal to what summation of x squared then multiply by what p to power x then q raised to the power of what 1 minus x. And remember that x we are going to use s at x is raised from 0 to 1. So anywhere we say we are going to take the summation at x is equal to 0 and at x is equal to 1. So at x is equal to 0, we are going to substitute anywhere we see x, we replace 0. So at first is x squared, which is going to be what? 0, 0 square, which is the same as 0. Then p raised to the power of 0. Then q raised to the power of 1 minus 0. Then plus at x is equal to 1. is what? 1 square. Then p raised to the power of 1. Then q raised to the power of 1 minus 1. So let's just simplify this. You know, this 0 is multiply the whole thing. Therefore, the whole of this is going to be 0. Then plus 1 square is the same as 1. Multiplied by p is p. Then q raised to the power of 0, which is 1 minus 1, is the same as 1. Because any number raised to the power of 0 is 1. Then 1 multiplied by p. So therefore, the whole of that quantity there is going to be p. So therefore, expected value of x square is equal to 0 plus p, which is the same as p. So we find the expected value of x to be p and also expected value of x square is also p. Now we can substitute and get our variance because this area is what? Expected value of x square minus expected value of x all square. So therefore, therefore variance, variance of x is equal to what? Expected value of x, what do we have? x square, what do we have is p, then minus expected value of x is also p. But remember, expected value of x all square so therefore we're going to square this so what do we notice here we have p and p here p is common so we factor out p then p divided by p is going to be one then minus p squared divided by p is going to remain only p and remember that we see that one minus p is the same as q so we see q which is probability of failure is the same as one minus probability of sources so in place of 1 minus p, we are going to replace what q. So therefore, the variance of x of Bernoulli is the same as what p times q is the same as pq. So therefore, the variance is pq and the mean, which is expected value of x is the same as p. So this is the mean and the variance of a Bernoulli distribution. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow us for more video like this. Thanks.